Today's date is the 9th of April, 0904. Uh, I just got back from the bank and I have sent somebody £3,900 for a collection. A uh, bit different to my normal because usually I meet people in person for that amount of money. Um, or, do you know what I mean? I'm like, right. <laughs> but uh, somebody I've sold cards to before, like very well known in the UK Facebook magic community. So I've sent him that money. He's going to post in the next couple of days. So we'll see what happens. So about three weeks ago, um, I bought... <laughs> this off Adam for £3,900. Um, I do have another box coming that's absolutely huge apparently earlier, well, later today, um, from another delivery service. But these are the value cards. Uh, both these packages, they came separately, were insured for up to two and a half grand. Um, I think we've estimated the collection's about £6,000. So 3.9 out to get six back. Um, we'll have a look through. It's been a dramatic couple of minutes off camera opening that up, believe you me. Anyway. Um, so Adam told me when I bought the collection that he's got um, everything buyer box foil. He's got a lot of um, Ixalan foil um, and he's got a complete set of um, Masters 2017 foil. Um, he's got a complete set of Iconic Masters foil uh, and Masters 25 foil, Guardian Beast. Um, that was one of the cards listed. See, I have no idea about Legacy card, but that's Alpha, I would imagine or one of the expensive prints. Uh, I know there's a Jism Gin somewhere in here worth like 750 quid. Um, obviously all these are doubled up, so I'll take those out and we'll have another film of that in a second. Have a look at all the really value cards. Um, as for this pile. Oh, find a good, so yeah, so I mean, this would be the iconic foil value. Um, I don't know if, I think he's got pretty much a full set. Um, I mean, it looks like he's got all the really expensive cards. So it would make sense that he'd had everything in foil. M13 foils. Spicy. So I mean, there's a lot of value. I know, especially with some of those, like Horizon Canopy and Go Over the Burn one of those. That was mine. <laughs> I sold that to him a long time ago, um, which is how I got put in contact with him in the first place. Um, and I know some of these fetch quite a high price tag. Um, in foil, <laughs> the Goifs, for instance, and Liliana the Veils, <laughs> and the Kaka, oh well, yeah, so literally, if there's a spicy card out of the, uh, one of the latest master sets, he's got it in foil, oh my, foil steam flogger boss, I mean if anybody's not familiar with the price of that, it's, I think currently more than a Goif for a Liliana, um, Gwendolyn de Corti, uh, it's in Italian, I'm pretty sure it's steal a creature or kill a creature, I can't really remember, um, for the Imperial Cruiser, obviously, following on on the trend of really expensive cards that are foils, um, so yeah, I mean, he, he was chatting to me about his collection and saying that basically he just has a bit of a thing for cracking packs. Um, and that when he decided that he wanted to collect packs, rather than buying them individually, I mean, granted he bought four crate who's buying them off from me, so I'm sure he's picked up a couple of these others from different people. He just decided to buy packs, sell the cards that he didn't want or foils that he didn't want out of them to then buy more packs, um, which is awesome, but also hella expensive and probably not the right way around to do things. Oh, foiling mono drone, obviously. <laughs> I'm so shocked by the uh, the amount of value. So definitely, definitely some spice going on in here. Uh, I'm gonna look through these and see what else we've got going on. Okay, so I mean for record, a lot of these that I just pulled out of these top loaders were not in sleeves. Uh, Adam, if you ever watch us, you're a terrible human being. Um, <laughs> why would you put such value without sleeves? You're um, it's really hurting my heart. I mean, some of them have got sleeves, so that's okay. But yeah, um, just foily value, obviously. Um, I didn't even think about four snapcasts not being a low power, but it makes a lot of sense. Um, they all look beautiful. Like, I mean, the, people give the latest magic sets and the card stock a lot of uh, grief, but the print is awesome. Especially in foil. So the firebox of those two. They I'm assuming that the other two or the three aren't as expensive and they're just with the other set. Um Tishana, I don't believe is that expensive, but who knows? Um oh, 
No buyer box, no mind. T to go. Um, that's another grow out. <laughs> Just got into the habit of flipping cards to look at the back. Oops. I guess that's not double sided. Um, so yeah, so anyway, I did a little bit of research on these two. Um, they're both from Arabian Nights. So I thought they were different printings and whatever, whatever. Just both Arabian Nights. Gary Beast is $400 SCG, 200 quid. Justin Chain is $1,400, so 700 quid. Holy crap. Um, it's in really, really, really good condition as well. So I dare say that's nearly a grand of my money. Quite easy to make back. Uh, I suppose we'll wait for Parcel Force to land with the rest of it. I've just taken delivery of the uh, third and final part of this collection. Oh my God, it's so big, like, and so heavy. Uh, I'm gonna crack it open, we'll see what we've got going on. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know where to begin. Um, probably remove a lot of the packaging. So I think there's loads of fat packs, oh my. I feel like Adam's just given me his entire collection. Like, oh, there's writing on them. It says, Our Devastation and Common Lands. So, I mean, what I'll probably do, like I've been doing with my other videos recently, is go through all of this, pull out, pull out stuff to look through, um, and then we'll go through it like that to save a bit of time. Hi, uh, you join me again three hours Later, uh, it has literally taken me three hours to sort through all this stuff. It has been unreal. Um, I can't even concisely show you what's going on. So this is, you know when you crack a Modern Masters boost and you get a foil out the back of them? This is that. This is every foil that the guy that I bought the collection from has ever pulled out the Modern Masters box. I just asked him, I sent him a message and I was like, listen, I was like, that's ridiculous. How many Modern Masters booster boxes did you open? And he said, over 60. So this is the result of 60 Modern Masters boosters. So, I mean, as you can imagine, there's just so many copies of the same card. Um, uh, oh, it's just been so hard to go through them all. So that's, that's basically tokens and a little bit of value. Nothing too impressive there. There are all the foils from every pack he's ever opened. Um, which is crazy, that's a full gift box full thing, that's like 2,000. Um, I'm pretty sure they store 2,000, I have absolutely no idea off the top of my head. Four lands, um, these are some of the unstable stuff that he's was going through. Um, I'm currently collecting unstable stuff, so that's going to be joining my collection. Um, I suppose, I think these are value commons that are singled out from, uh, that are standard value. And then standard foils. Um, this is standard value, just planeswalker after planeswalker after planeswalker, leading into mythics, fast lands, you name it. Uh, there's like six, seven hundred rares there, all worth at least a quid. Um, this is, I don't, know what this, I don't even know what this is, this is just foil. Oh, this is like maybe this, I think, I think this might be the foil value, so like rare foils. Um, this is bulk foils that I was going, that I just added this, this like what, 400 bulk foils there. Um, I tend to sell those for like 10 pence each, so I dare say with those foils and these foils, it's probably like 100 quid or something, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, what have we got here? This is value on commons. Um, oh, more stuff. Oh wait, no. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So this is this is just commons and uncommons that are worth like twenty p, fifty p. Like there's just so much. I don't want to. I thought I might as well separate them. Um, I never want to see a Thran Dynamo, a Molten Rain, again. Uh, what else was there? Loads of Swiss beers. Um, there was like a billion Flicker Wisps. I can't believe I've not found one. Anyway, hundreds. And this is, I mean, like to put it into context of how many, how many iconic masters Adam cracked. Mythic, 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 mythic. Do you know what I mean? It's like you like it's. He's got the level 
of the same rares that you would expect to see from somebody that was cracking packs as a business. Um, and they're all just there. It is absolutely crazy. Um, it's gonna take me a hell of a long time to go through all of those. Um, I don't even wanna think about it considering that I've got about 20 pounds of the cards currently to sort through. And um, this is just, uh, seems like a jank binder, I guess. Um, they'll be joining the ones pretty shortly. Um, <clears throat> I think this is, well, I mean, I don't even know what this is. I don't know if this is like value on commons that are foil or, I mean, to be fair, like, a lot of these DC play. Um, but nothing overly spicy in there. Uh, effort, not for effort. Um, I guess this is Four Lands, obviously, because he cracks so much stuff. And then, again, more casual value, kind of jank, kind of not. Probably like 30 or 40 quid in there and foils and other stuff. Um, so I suppose the big question is, am I going to make money on this? And the answer is, I have absolutely no idea. Um, Adam told me that he, there's definitely... Um, definitely over five and a bit grand worth of value in there. Um, I paid 3,900. So, I mean, if I made a grand and a half out of it, it's a lot of effort to shift it all about and stuff, but like, fair enough, you know? Um, so suppose this is EMA. Um, I don't know if he's taken the value cards out of the EMA before he's posted it. I've noticed through the other binders that I've looked in that um, he's like removed, uh, he's removed cards, basically the value ones. So maybe like, because this, this package, this really large package, wasn't insured for quite as much as the other ones. Um, he sent all the value in the videos that I posted before this. Um, so I don't know if EMA is complete or not, <clears throat> but that's foil EMA. Uh, this is, I mean, it's Amon Cat, so. Oh, it's not Amon Cat, okay. This is foil Masters 25. Um, I'm assuming that he's not cracked as many boxes seen as Masters 25 has only been out for a month or so, but there's still an amount there. Um, there's still loads and loads and loads of foils. Um, moving on to M17 foils, just casually. Gen Do you know what? I've just built a Soul Sisters Jank brew with Genesis Chamber. That is going straight in my basket. Um, just standard stuff, I guess, more of. Um, it's really like, do you know what I mean? It's hard looking through people's collections because I quite often go through people's stuff. I'm assuming this is excellent foil. Um, yeah, it is. I go through people's collections. Um, there's a buy box up there. And I, I kind of can tell where they were going with it, about how they place the cards and, and what they were doing with it. And I have honestly got no clue with Adam's collection. Um, it is complicated. <laughs> I mean, this stuff is fairly easy. Is there anything at the back? I feel like there is. Oh, more bio box stuff. Yeah, um, I've, I've had collections that were easier to figure out than this. There's been, there was no decks. Like, there's been no M17 foils. No decks that came with this, whereas normally people sell me a deck and then their binders or their collections, and I don't know if Adam's, like, kept hold of his decks to play or, um, or if he just didn't have any decks and was literally... One of the people that played to collect, I suppose, when you think about it, Magic is not just a trading card game. It's a co a co what I mean. Yeah, it's a collection, isn't it? Um, yeah, this is Foil Iconic. Um, I'm assuming that either he didn't finish it, I think he said Iconic was finished, or it's literally just the amount of cards that he's taken out that were value that he's put in the other shipment that I got. Um, so I'll probably piece these back together at some point and see what I've got missing. Um, I don't know if I can sell them as a job lock foil, but it'd be a hell of a lot easier for me if I could. It means that all these commons and uncommons and stuff don't really get a waste, because otherwise they're just gonna be sold as jank. Uh, we can hear my father in the background going absolutely mental, making a very inconvenient noise. Um, have we already seen an oblivion stone in there? I don't know, T2, I don't know. TT4. Maybe not, I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look on camera. But um, there's just loads of stuff. It's just like, 
as somebody who really loves shiny cards, I cannot get over this. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what the value is. I'm gonna have to sit and catalog everything. It's probably gonna take me a hell of a long time to figure it out, but that is, that's what I spent 3,900 pounds on.